In a few days' time, Mark said, will NATO's most senior civilian in Afghanistan will leave the country and move on to a new job. I leave with mixed feelings. Of course, I'm looking forward to seeing my family again and spending more time at home. But of course, you know, I leave with, uh, as everyone does here, with uh, still a long road ahead. And, and of course, I would uh, like to have been able to travel that road all the way um, down uh, Afghanistan's journey to self-reliance with them. Mark said will took up his position with NATO in January last year. When I arrived here, uh, it felt as though um, we were failing. Uh, it felt as though the insurgency was getting away from us and we didn't really have um, the inputs right, the strategy, the resources to tackle it. Now it does. Um, and in the past year, I believe we have regained the initiative against the insurgency. And as a result, we've started to restore confidence both to the coalition and to the Afghan people. And that change of spirit, that change of uh, sense about the direction of the campaign is in many ways, I think, the most important development I've seen in the past uh, two years in Afghanistan. The former British ambassador to Afghanistan went on numerous trips around the country to see for himself what was happening on the ground. Only recently he returned to Marja, the former drugs capital of Helmand, where a major operation was launched last year to clear the area of Taliban. We have made substantial uh, progress and as I've said we've regained the initiative but that progress is still fragile and it's still uh, reversible. So there's a, there's a very hard job and a very long road ahead of us. We need to continue to make progress in security but we particularly need to address issues in uh, government delivery to the people, in particular the rule of law, the conduct of the police, the capability and conduct of the justice sector and all of those uh, elements and for that of course we need the government of Afghanistan to deliver. Uh, but. Uh, we believe that the goal of completing the transition process to the Afghan lead by the end of 2014 is realistic. Um, we have a program in place that uh, we believe can deliver that. And of course, uh, we're committed to continuing to support Afghanistan, continuing to underwrite the stability and capability of the government beyond 2014, uh, probably for another decade or so, because they will need that support uh, as they gradually consolidate um, the uh, capabilities uh, of their state. He's been described as General Petraeus' wingman, the civilian equivalent of the commander of ISAF and US troops in Afghanistan. Working so closely together for the past year, it's a relationship Mark Sedwill says he'll miss. The role itself has been fascinating. It's been uh, probably the most important job I'll ever do, certainly the most challenging job I've ever done. Uh, and to work alongside an outstanding military commander like General Petraeus has been an enormous privilege. It's also been an enormous privilege to have had the chance to play my own small part um, in this campaign at the moment I believe we started to turn it around. And fundamentally, as with any country that you serve in, you become very involved with the people. Uh, it's an intense experience here in Afghanistan. Um, and of course I will leave with mixed feelings and leave many, many friends behind whom I hope uh, to stay in touch with. Mel Preen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.